it feels far more emotional this time around uh, for Alex and what she's dealing with. Um, there's one scene in particular that I can't really reveal, but just broke my heart when I read it. And I was dreading getting to that day of filming it because I just knew what it was going to take for me to get there emotionally. So um, I always had that in the back of my head, just going, oh, when are we going to do this scene? When are we going to shoot this scene? You'll know it when you see it. It was just, it's just really heartbreaking. Can you tell us a bit about season two? Where does the story pick up? The story picks up directly in the aftermath of the ousting of Prime Minister Rachel Anderson. Alex has finally jumped ship in which she was threatening to do anyway. So she's now in the opposition. She's in the House of Reps. Her driver is very much trying to find justice for the young girls, uh, Jess, Jess and Marcy. She figures it out very quickly that she's not going to be able to achieve achieve what she needs to achieve within this party. So she declares herself as an independent. She knows that it's going to be a really hard, long fight, but she's she's up for it. That's why I'm here tonight, to talk to you. Because any one of us, we can make a difference. And in season one, one of the great relationships in that season to see kind of play out was between your character and Rachel Griffith's character. Can we expect more of that in season two? Rachel and Alex don't get to see each other, I think, until second episode. So there's a little bit of sort of um, time stretched out there and you're almost wanting to go, when are these two actually going to be in the same room? And then we get that in episode two where the gloves come off. So it's a fabulous scene. You know, the, um, it's just, it's sort of, okay, here we go. <laughs> As an um, actor, it's like delicious. Yeah, it's so <laughs> delicious. And, you know, it's written so well. Privileged, is that what you call 17 years of misogyny in politics? Well, you seem pretty happy clutching your pearls and handbag when you're leader of the party. I sacrificed everything to get where I did and you blew it up in a day. Something that's great with Total Control is that there are these messages that come through. So, you know, while you are watching this gripping series, if it, you know, season one, um, Indigenous deaths in custody, or season two, you're really shining a spotlight on some other important issues that are affecting rural and regional areas and I was wondering do you feel like screen stories have a power beyond entertainment oh yeah what they can do without a doubt without a doubt I mean in some in some cases they actually have the ability to show what's possible now we've introduced another character with Wayne Wayne Blair's character Paul Murphy and so I love that screen stories can be aspirational as well uh, and and entertaining. And if we can get, and it can be all of that, <laughs> which is great. Were there any big uh, challenges that you had to overcome during production, you know, whether it's weather or, or anything like well, that? Well, this time around, unfortunately, we couldn't film in winter. So we ended up having to go out to Broken Hill, which was fabulous as well. but it was difficult for the production to take that risk in terms of travel and possibility of border closures and stuff like that so i love broken hill it's a beautiful place so we're, we're sorry we couldn't get to winter this time around hopefully if we get to a season three we'll be able to go back hey and what do you hope audiences take away from watching season two of total control i hope they i hope they get excited by some of the new talent actually so we've got Steph Tisdell coming on as a really fabulous sort of character that um, that Alex meets back home in Winton. Um, and they, they're a bit at loggerheads to begin with, so it's a nice little sort of dynamic that Alex has that she gets to play with. And Steph is fabulous in the role. Look, I just hopefully people enjoy it. <laughs> I think that's as simple as it is for me. It's like I hope they watch it and I hope they enjoy it.